Hey guys, RTT back here for the video guys. Today we're going to go ahead and do a 3080 uh, PC build. If you guys do enjoy the video at any given time, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Let's get right into it. So starting off right away, guys, let's start off with our CPUs. There's a lot of great CPUs on the market currently. And of course, on we are using cyberpower.com to go ahead and, and create this. But let's go ahead and start off with the CPUs I would go with on a 3080 build. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you are on a 3080 uh, build and you are using an i9, it's going to at least use around it's probably 750 power, uh, 750 watts PCU. Now, if you are on a 3090 at um, i9, you're going to have to get a 850 power supply, at least 850 watt power supply. Now, if you go back one and you go back to, again, the um, if you go to an i7 3090, you can get one, you can get a 750 watt. You just, if you get to 99 and you're overclocking, you need at least 850 plus. So let's go ahead and talk about the CPU I'm going to choose for this video. Now I'm going to create the best gaming PC I can possibly create for this video. Okay. So this is the best gaming PC. Now the best gaming PC currently best CPU PC is going to go ahead and be the, uh, i5. 10,600K uh, CPU. That's the best CPU right now on the market for best budget piece, uh, best budget CPU. So again, like if you're trying to do a really good gaming budget, you're going to see that that is number one at the moment. Now, yes, is there better gaming CPUs? Uh-huh. But at the moment, as you can see from Tom's Harbor right here, number one is that cpu so we're gonna go ahead and start off real fast with that cpu as our cpu now going all the way back up i actually forgot we had to choose the case now there's a lot of good cases here and of course this is the case i got with my uh pc uh right here my second custom built pc was of course uh ncxt but let's go ahead and look at some other options we have here so i'm probably gonna go ahead and personally go with um a lot of good cases Obviously, some of them more expensive than not. And if we're going for an affordable budget PC build, actually, for 3080, we're going to go with the cheapest PC build we actually can get. And that's going to be this bad boy right here. Again, we're not going for money, guys. We're not going for the most expensive, glamorous build. We're going for the best budget PC build we can get. And this is the bad boy we're going to rock. And you know what? We're going to go with a black color for this. I think black looks better. And white so let's go ahead and go into our next thing first off we have extra case fans but we're going for the best budget pc we can and we're at currently 1469 price wise so that means we're going to go ahead and go with the fought fans i'm not going to spend the money uh to make it a little bit better like case uh case build wise for ventilation i think that ventilation in that case is very decent already so i don't think we have to go ahead and do that now, going down, we're not even looking at the freebie. Uh, actually, freebie processor, uh, we only get that if we get an i9. Um, a cool i9, 9th or 10th processor, we did not. So, we cannot get that. And again, we're not looking at any of this kind of stuff. Now, the question is, should we go with air-cooled or should we go with liquid-cooled? I personally like liquid-cooled better. And I recommend always going with liquid-cooled. So, that's what we're going to go with for this uh, build. We are going to go ahead and go for liquid-cooled for this build. And I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here, which is, of course, just one single 120 millimeter a liquid cooling unit. And it is not bad at all. It's actually the one they default chose. For motherboard, we're going to go ahead and go with the Ace uh, AS Rock Z490 Phantom Gaming. Uh, of course, it is the cheapest motherboard they offer at this range uh, for this uh, setup. And again, we are going to go ahead and go for that. Now, it also does support AMD Crossfire, so keep that in mind. Now, again, we could go ahead and go with an AMD build. And I know a lot of people watching this video right now are probably like, why did you not go to AMD build for this PC, for this um, PC build? And the reason why is because I just personally like Intel. I know AMD does support PCI uh, 4.0, and that's what these cards are running off of. But I know I've seen a million different AMD builds on the line. And again, I'm just going to try to make this a little bit different and go with an Intel build. So let's talk about RAM. We're going to go with eight gigabytes because that's all you really need when gaming on your PC. Yes, 16 is nice. 16 is like the, you get, once you get 16, you're done. You don't need any more than 16. 
but eight gigabyte is the minimum. And for this PC build, guys, we're gonna go with the minimum to try to keep price and uh, the value of all this very down. So we don't have to worry about spending extra money. And again, we're going for more of a budgety build around $2,000 is our goal. Now the GPU we're gonna go ahead and choose, of course, is gonna be a 3080 right here, which is of course, we're gonna use the, um, for the win model. That's the PC we're gonna go with. I mean, GPU we're gonna go with here is the for the win model. And going down here, we're not gonna do SLI. We can't even do SLI. They won't let us do SLI. Honestly, the, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and continue. We're not adding any of these. And now this is when the power supply actually is a thing. And I'm not sure if it's going to yell at us. It actually is not yelling at us. But again, if you're going with an i5, you can go with a 750 watt power supply and be fine. And again, I don't recommend doing it 100% because you can't overclock and you're kind of stuck in the future. Because remember, in the future, when even more GPUs come out, you're going to want to upgrade those GPUs, right? And you can't do that when you are stuck at 750. So you're going to have to upgrade eventually. I'm going to stick with the 750 though. That is a decent power supply for us. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then let's go and go down here. Now we're going to talk about SSD and that kind of stuff. Now, again, guys, like I said, we are going very budgy, very cheap with this build. So stuff like, again, 240 gigabytes. We're going to go ahead and probably, I would love to go M.2. Um, let's go M.2 here. M.2 and we're going to go to 240 here. Gives us some money, and I think that's going to be uh, good for that. Now, we're not going to have a secondary hard drive. Most likely, you would. But again, for this build, we could always get an external hard drive, though. It's always possible to get an external hard drive. All right, let's talk about external storage, though. So, obviously, we're not going to go ahead and go for any of that. And skipping past, we are now looking at a $2,134 build. And let's see. Can I get this any cheaper than I've had it right now? Because I think... Based on uh, doing these, uh, like, at being at work and putting these uh, builds in, I think I can get this for a little bit cheaper. I believe. I might be incorrect. But prices, honestly, might have just went up, uh, which they do. And actually, yeah, I could technically... Okay, listen, guys. I could get this for around $1980, right? $1980. And I could also go ahead and go for a cheaper build if I did go ahead and go with air cooling instead of, you know instead of what's called liquid cooling. And I could get this a lot cheaper for that part. But again, keep in mind, I'm looking at this realistically. If I'm building the best gaming PC possible, I want to have the ability to, exactly what I'm saying, I want the ability to have, um, what's it called? I want the ability to have a really decent PC that I'm actually going to use. I don't want to just have a PC that has all crappy parts and, you know, all oh, this is good, that, that's good, right? I want to actually have a PC I'm going to use and actually uh play on so guys that's the build again 2134 for good budgety pc with a 3080 obviously keep in mind guys that this site cyber power and all of these other sites they're gonna jack up the price for these these cards okay they're gonna i think cyber power is charging a thousand dollars for 3080s and i think 3090s are charging two thousand dollars for which again if you know on you know uh scalpers that's what they're charging too and we're going to see this for this side of power. We're going to see it for a lot of other sites that also go ahead and do custom P PC builds. But again, a lot of these do are going to take advantage of the fact of what the price is going for. And they're not going to sell you for what market retail is. They're going to sell you for what it actually is selling for right now. With that in mind, guys, that's my PC build. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.